Mattress Guys, because everybody needs a mattress guy. A gated ring, I love it. Next Ladies one. and gentlemen, for those of you watching around the world on XKO.TV and here at Billy Bob's Texas, this is the first fight on the main card. This fight is sanctioned by the TDLR. Executive producer, Greg Alvarez. Lead inspector, Arturo Martinez. Our timekeepers are Hanato Perez and Edwin Sparks. Our physicians are Dr. Scott Lauer and Dr. Steve Landers. Our judges are Susan Moore, Aaron Menard, and Javier Martinez. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the next bank blue corner. He is brought to you by the Mattress Guys. This fight is scheduled for three rounds in the XKO flyweight division. He's a kickboxer. Two victories, two defeats. He stands five feet seven inches tall and weighed in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Juarez and Chihuahua, Mexico, Aldi El Vaquero Romero. And now his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner, trained in MMA. He holds a professional record, two victories, one defeat. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, and weighed in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Rashad Lookout Robinson. The three gone turnage. Then you got the other guy coming out at FS, SFS. And then once again, in your co main, you got one guy coming out of Lamb, another guy coming out of SFS. We got so a little rivalry yeah, coming two, on tonight. It's two that I know of. It might be one more, so this is going to be fun to watch. You ready? You ready? Let's do this. Come on. Flyweights on the way. Should be a whole lot of speed going out tonight. Out the air, basically inside leg kick. Looks like they're just feeling it out right now. Nice outside leg, leg, leg kick lands so hard. Yes, nice hands to the barrel. Fast, very, very fast. And the outside leg kick. I'm actually trained with this guy at the gym, man. And this guy, yo, know, he's very, very fast hands. Good boxing. Not scared to go out there and get in a brawl. Not scared to go out there and get in a gunfight. Robinson, some mean leg kicks early. And that'll slow down the movement that the Lambs yeah, going for. Yeah, are already a nice. little bit heavy on that lead leg. And he's coming out really fast for these are five minute rounds. You know, these are lighter yeah. guys, so maybe they can keep up the pace, but. Got a little cut under the right eye of Robinson already. It's from those lightning fast punches he's throwing. Hard inside that kick. Nice that one. Yeah, hit him with a nice overhand off the leg kick, though. Returns with the leg kick in the zone. Oh, nice right nice hand out here. here. Followed up with a couple good punches. It's like Aldier is starting to get comfortable in there. Nice knee, loses his balance and falls down. Yeah, he's paying the price for coming off balance, but he gets back up to his feet. Way not to accept that position and get right back to his feet. Yeah, he's a pummel a... in, get that underhook. Smart and good movement. He's a pummel that right arm, get that underhook, get out of the corner. One thing I know is these guys do a lot of threes because they're uh, primarily strikers over there at Lambs. Mm -hmm. So. It's like a, going after the three minute round. You know, I'm curious to see how uh, he still moves and stuff. Pretty sure he still moves good. Oh, nice to the body. Really wearing on him with that pressure. Looks to be the stronger of the two once they clinch up. Oh, 
That's what I love about MMA. I mean, you can look like you're totally outclassed in the striking range and then get into the grappling range and become totally a different dog. story. Yeah. yeah. Right now, he's bullying the situation. This is what he needs to do. Just wear on him, slow him down, and then the striking will become easier. Yeah. That one looked like a little low blow. And Romero, Romero used, needs to use his head. He needs to... He needs to Use his head to create space and turn him off. You know, he's letting him dictate yeah. head pressure, and that's never good when you're stuck against the cage. Look at that little turn. Nice. He's reaching Once over again. the head with that arm. That's not good. He's head position. The head position, and then the underhooks. He's going to give up this double leg. Full guard for Romero. Robinson on top. Wait for him to posture up and start throwing some strikes down. Man, I don't know from personal experience, having my head smashed up against that cage like that, you know, when you're a guard player, it makes it kind of rough. Yeah, it's brutal. There's nowhere to move. Really, she's just four on the floor, get back up, use that cage. Yeah. Stand back up. He's not in a good spot here. You can't really move your hips up against the cage. Yeah. He can get his feet involved, push out. And you said, scoot up, use that wall. Yeah, that wall is a third mat. Get you back to your feet. Nice ground and pound by Robinson. Good elbow. I like when guys do that. I like when they posture up on the, on the face Yeah, like push that. down on the head and yeah. just drop it. Slice it. Head pressure. Just driving into him, making this fight brutal. You want to secure a round, you get on top, and beat the person on the bottom up. And that'll put you in a good position. That's yeah, he's the changing his round into his, his favor. And he's looking for the finish here with some heavy ground and pound. Out here trying to kick off. <coughs> 10 seconds, Damn, see if he can hang in there. He's obviously just teeing off. He's teeing off the last 10 seconds. Yeah, this could tire him out. He's like, he's yeah. tired. Oh, going for the wow. finish. He went for it. And he, he cut him open, too. Got a nice cut on the head. You see the way he's leaning up against the cage right now? Yeah, he's trying to get that recovery. He needs oh, wobbly legs. He just wobbled on the stool. We'll see if Robinson has it in him as soon as the, they come back out. He needs to get a full recovery here up against so the cage. Robinson's tired from the punishment he delivered. And let's see how Romero feels from taking the punishment, though. Yeah, and, and when they come back out, they're going to start standing. So see if uh, Romero last, can keep the fight standing. And last time they were standing, standing, Romero was landing some nice shots. I call that round a draw, man. That was close. Uh, I mean, I'd say, uh, you know, Robinson had, was the closest to finishing in that round, so maybe give it to him for the, the ground control and the and being close to finish. Yeah, overall control time, overall damage, you know. Yeah. Yeah, 10-9 Robinson. You see what I was saying about those three-minute rounds, though? You know, they're training three-minute rounds, and when they get here and they do fives, and... You know, it's great. Yeah. You know, Even as an amateur, primary. you should yeah. be training for a five-minute round just to get used to that. You gotta prepare for those. Robinson needs to get right in his face and take this back to the oh, grappling range. At it. Straight to the blender. I'm loving it. I love to see him go back to the well with those leg kicks. Set him really up with a couple punches. Him. Yeah. I think it also made the takedown a little easier to get. Oh. Catches the kick. Yeah, just wear on him again. Make him feel your pressure. Yeah, man. He got some tree trunk legs over there. Big legs for the weight class. Way to turn off by Romero. Robinson just won't stop coming forward. Won't stop putting the pressure there. This guy's just miss. throwing and dodging, throwing and hitting. I'm loving this. This is good. Oh, runs into the double oh, leg, almost nice. gets reversed. Nice, way to turn positions. Way to finish on the tape now, he stayed on it. 
catch his breath here a little bit, side control. Don't blame him. An action pack first round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess the damage was a little bit more than uh, exerting it was because uh, Robinson looked like he still was a step ahead. Might be setting up a uh, north south choke right here. He's going to drop his hips down. Nope. Romero turns, regards. Yeah, way to recover guard. He has to get his head from from not being in that cage like that. You can't be sitting there. Yeah, as soon as you you get close to that cage, you got to get up or, I mean, kick off the cage. Use it to to hit an angle on an armbar. Or try and stand up, but you cannot yeah. lay there, head against the cage and get pounded on. You're automatically losing the fight. And you're taking unnecessary damage. Yeah, as, uh, as the game evolves, the, the guard game is becoming less and less prevalent in MMA. Either you're shooting a submission immediately or you're getting right back to your feet. Yeah, I agree 100%. Unless you're trailblazer, then you throw bombs from your back. <laughs> oh, man, I, I aimed and sprayed and got lucky. You know, it's not going to happen every time. Yeah, luck happens when get hard work meets preparation. So yeah, yeah, that's true. You prepare, you go in there, you get the job done. Well, and that's the case. This guy's gonna have to start practicing more hammer fist off his back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's just not accepting it. You know, I think he's a, he's kind of accepting this bottom position. It's, it's only a matter of time. I think if Robinson was to do what he did earlier, yeah. I, I honestly think that he could possibly get the finish. You know, uh, just don't uh, wait. Don't wait till the last thirty seconds. Yeah, do it now. God, man, he was so tired after that last time. I don't know yeah. if he was trying to get He doesn't want to overexert himself and have nothing left. Yeah, those elbows, though. He keeps throwing those elbows. elbows. And, and, you know, I might have to have a choice but to stop there the fight. There we go. There we go. Nice elbows. Yeah, it's the beginning of the end here. You know, this look, it looks good, but he's not really landing. That's one thing with the, uh, you know, higher-level guys is, is they, uh, they set up those shots, and they make every shot count. Actually, a bull rider. But he's used to taking a little bit of a beating. Yeah, you ever get stepped up by a bull, you know it's a whole different ball game. It looks like he's getting trampled right now. Yeah, oh, definitely. Man, it's killing me. It's killing me just to stand there. I don't know if he if he's stuck, if he's stand there. But he's trying to seen... control the posture, but I yeah. mean, you can only do that for so long. Yeah, I haven't seen a real effort on submissions or trying to get back to your feet or changing the position from your head being stuck. In your... Yeah, he's just kind of holding on, waiting for. Maybe a stand-up or waiting for Robinson to, to make a mistake. Yeah, and waiting sometimes can always be a... Uh, you never want to wait in there. No. This is your moment to go. A little bit of elbows from the bottom, and he pays for it. I would love to see uh, Robinson posture up and start to rain down some of those punches. He's doing everything from in tight, closed guard. He needs to create space and then look to deliver punishment. Yeah, he's got to realize, you know, he's going to get a restart here, and the, they're starting back on the feet. I, I feel like this fight could have been finished several times had he postured up. But now, you put the striker back in the fight. Yep, put the striker back where he thrives, really. So what are you saying if you're Nelson Salas in the corner of out here? You need a knockout. You, you got to go out there, keep fight. it standing, and, and get the finish. Yeah. You know? No doubt. This is pros, you know, time that, you know, it's not like Robinson's going out there and just dragging them to the ground, you know. He's right. catching a kick, you know. <laughs> and if I'm, Robinson, if I'm Robinson, shoot, do not take a step back. Yeah. Go for it the whole time. Put him up against the cage, wear on him, drag him down to the ground. Uh, that's been the story of the fight so far, so he needs to go right back to that. Kind of a takedown away from... Uh, you know, it's been one yeah, takedown and nobody's getting up. Sealing the victory. Ready? 
You got to come out here and really want it right here. You can't accept the takedown. You cannot accept being taken down right here if he wants to win the fight. Robinson looks to be the fresher of the two with the striking. Maybe he's catching that second win. Maybe he's finally getting comfortable in there as far as the feet go. The leg kick's been there for him all night. And guys throw leg kicks, they hardly throw calf kicks. They need to go to the calf. Yeah. Calf hurts just a little bit more. <laughs> it makes it, man, it, that's a fight changer. People don't understand. Remember my uh, UFC debut, I got kicked in the calf one time, and I was like, oh, nope, not going to let that happen again. Then Darren Stewart kicked me in the in the calf, and I was like, damn. You. Like, how am I going to keep walking on this leg? Yeah. We'll find a way, but, yeah, that is a fight changer. It'll get in your head a little bit. Big lead hook, just almost paid for that. He needs to put that pressure on. He's kind of letting him back in this fight, giving him a chance. Kind of picking shots. Oh, he's a nice right hand. Romero's kind of got to just go for it, man. You know, you're down on the scorecards. You know, if you're going to pump that jab, you need to be pumping a lot of them. You throw that backhand right behind it. Put some combos together if he wants this. Let's do or die time. Three minutes left. Oh, oh. Robinson landed a good strikes here. Come on, boys. I want to jump like DC and John Anna can do on big UFC <laughs> yeah, fight nights. Deliver it. I wonder if I yell, will finish him as loud as I can, if that'll do it. <laughs> oh, nice double jab. Almost got a double knockout there. I shouldn't tease like that. Now, nice right hand. Uppercut. Yeah, nice. Pushing him back. Two minutes left. Let's see and you never know how that first round could have gone. Uh, Romero was, was out striking him on the feet, so could very well be 1-1. One, one. You never know what the judges are seeing. You never know what they're thinking. Nice. Great set up that takedown. You see how he just kind of lays there. He kind of accepts the fact that he's been taken down and he doesn't want to get back up. You know, yeah, you, you he really needs to, to take up. a lesson from this and, and learn. You don't want to be on your back in an MMA fight. Feet on the hips and kick. Once again, you're getting closely scooted back to the cage. Head's going to be stuck there. You know, props to Robinson, man. He, he, they must have drilled this a thousand times because he's done a good job every time they got into the ground, getting his head to the cage, and then pounding. Yeah, he puts him right, right on the cage. Here we go, right here. It's about to happen again. Yeah, he's dragging him to the cage. That shows uh, awareness in there. He, you know, he's aware of where he's at and he's able to listen to his coaches. And now he strikes. He's right in this corner, too. He's got his coach right there. You know, t walking him through this. Just, you know, having a good old conversation while beating somebody <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. 58 seconds to make something happen. You have to fight like your life is on the line here, guys. And if I'm, and if I'm Robinson, you know, I'm so hopping to my feet. I mean, I'm it, pounding. Yeah, this, I'm, you he know. got him exhausted. He's not standing up. Time to posture up, hips in, and start raining down blows. Go away with a, you know, you make it to the next level. This is this is the difference between getting a fifty thousand dollar bonus and just collecting your exactly, check. Exactly. Yeah. You got to go. Being a fighter that people want to watch, you know, put put a statement, put an exclamation mark on this win. Yeah. And the way he finished the first round, he should have been starting and finishing every round like that. Uh, Posture up. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's Finish what we want to see. 
Walks away with his hands up. Oh, he man. knows he's got that win. Dana White killed me when I was a contender series and I had that attitude. <laughs> yeah. Take it from somebody who knows. But good job, Robinson. Way to get the way, way to get, to get it done, man. Late. Trailblazer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting action, we go to the judges' scorecard. The judges have scored the bout 30-26, 30-27, 30-27. Declaring a winner by unanimous decision, Rashad Lookout Robinson! All right, Fight Fans, we are back. I'm here. Rashad, how you doing? I'm here with the Man of Steel. We just watched you perform three rounds. The judges saw your favor. The crowd saw your favor. What did you think about that performance? Oh, uh, well, we know what he was coming with. He was a, he's a good counter striker. But we seen where uh, he was kind of weak at. I kind of wanted to avoid uh, going with the takedown. But we was kind of pretty much even standing up. So I was like, let me uh, do this change of direction real quick. Now, when you hit that takedown, did you feel like he wasn't going to get up? Like, it was it was your game as soon as you got him to the ground? Man, I, I dread that takedown so much. You know, even on the 170 guys, 155-pound guys, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just something that I'm confident in doing. Yeah, you can see you hit that every time. And uh, it was it was like butter for you. So uh, uh, very impressive. Thank you. Oh, yeah, hands down, a great impression. You really kept the pressure on him in the corners. The referee didn't stop the fight and get you back to your feet because you were working. Did you sense at any point that the ref may intervene and get you guys back up to your feet in any of the rounds? I ain't gonna lie, the first, the first, uh, first round, I thought he was about to stop it. That's why I just kept going ham. You know, it looked like he was about to step up in there. And I'm like, crap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you didn't want to punch yourself out, but you had to go for the finish. Of course. Yes, sir. Well, you know what? You christened the cage. Congratulations on your victory, on unanimous decision. Thank Enjoy you. your evening. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm glad that you were able to show the world what Lookout Robinson can bring to the table. Thank you all for having me. Thank Looking you, sir. Looking forward to see you again. Yes, sir.